welcome back to Mario Kart DS where last time we raced on Rainbow Road and now we're going to be racing on TikTok Clock so here we go wait hang on a second Hey everybody and welcome back to Super Mario 64 70 star speed run where today's episode is all about the big old clock over here which we will be getting all six stars in oh yeah <laughs> isn't that going to be fun so I have been practicing I'm going to do this completely uncut so if this takes is that because I'm only going to I'm only planning to do this course today and that is it and then next time we're going to be doing the final bowser oh yeah but here we go we're going to be getting all six stars in here so the way tiktok clock works is it depends on the position of the big hand when you go in so when you if you go into it when the big hand is on 12 the clock will completely stop if you go into it when the clock is on three the clock will act as normal on six the clock will just go crazy and on 9, the clock will go very, really, very really fast. So the first three stars I'll be getting, I'll be stopping the clock just because I need to... These stars aren't really... Because I want to show you some tricks that you can do inside TikTok clock, and they're only easy to do if you freeze the clock. So the first one we'll be getting is Stomp on the Flump, which is all the way at the top of the clock. Wow, isn't that a good start? <laughs> Wow! Okay, did I do something to deserve that? Honestly, I don't know. All right. Anyway, try again. Right. As I was saying, getting up the top of the clock, and I really better not die. But I'll get a life over. I better not game over. I mean, but I don't think I will. But even if I do, that'd be really funny anyway. So, <laughs> so. What you want to do is, once you're here, you want to do a triple jump, sort of, starting on the middle of this cube. Do a triple jump up, and, oh, nearly got up there, but it was close. There's stuff in the middle of the cube. Ah, done. And there you go, then you can get up here really quickly. And that saves you going around the long way of that one, so yeah. Right, so I'll get a life here. The next thing you want to do is get back f uh, side flip walk kick up to here and then you can walk kick off that cube back flip and then do another double jump okay and then what you want to do is do a double jump kick walk kick walk kick and there you go that and that's actually not as hard as it looks it's just if you get the two walk kicks you'll get that pretty much every time don't have to be too accurate with that all right now now for the sort of difficult bit. Now you want to do a triple jump and then wall kick up to where the flump is right now. So one, two, three. And I made it. Nice. Okay, cool. And then do a triple jump off the flump and bang. There we go. Woo! Awesome. That was that was actually pretty good. Um, as I said, I, I, I have practiced these stars, but you know. That was actually pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm very impressed how I did that. All right, let's freeze time again. And next one I want to do is, I want to show you how to get the uh, star called Get a Hand without having to need the clock to actually, while freezing, while you have the clock frozen. I mean, the easiest way to do, okay, hang on, sorry, I need to explain what I'm doing here. So, the easiest way to get up quickly to the clock is to just double jump, kick, double jump, kick, double jump, kick, double jump, kick, A, B, A, B, A, B. And then you're up to the part where you would... And you're up to this part. Now, this hand here, if you're normally using the clock, you, you would normally use this hand to get around to that star over there. However, I wanted to show you how to do the star without needing the hand. And it's not too, it's sort of a little bit precise long jump, but it's not too bad. So what you want to do is go to Mario Cam, and then you just want to long jump to the star from here. There you go, like that. Hey, nice. And that starts sometimes getting a bit of trouble, but not that time. It was good. I'm glad it didn't take me too long. That one. Okay, cool. That was that one done. Next star is one of freeze time again for the 
for well, really, so what you want to be freezing time pretty much every time for the speed run. But I want to show you guys what happens when you have like crazy clock and fast clock and yeah. yeah. All right, so now we'll just begin the red coins, which is the star which you actually will need to have um, time frozen. You will need to have time frozen for this star no matter what. Uh, so just so these things aren't moving. Otherwise they move and then you can't possibly make your way up here. Oh, so do do do. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to get that. I'm supposed to get that coin last. I reason you get that coin, this coin last, is because the star spawns right. Ah no! The star will spawn right next to that coin if I didn't stuff up. Oh, double jump kick, double jump kick. Oh, sorry, not enough double jump kicks. If you don't want to, if you get, if, look. This is why the easiest way to get up these things is just double double kicking all the time, but nonetheless. Oh, right, there we go. And now the star spawns right next to you, and now you can grab it. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go. Okay, that's stop time for reds. Awesome. Right now, now I might show you uh, just a normal clock to do this next one. Which is just rolling into the cage. Alright, so normal clock, it's just... Everything's now going to start moving. So I just want to show you what the normal clock is before I start going into anything crazy. So these cubes, yes, they do um, move... Uh, every every so often. They just they just all spin in, spin in sync. Let's see. Uh, every so often. So you can see down there that those platforms that the red coins are having are actually spinning now. So again, if you didn't stop the clock for them, that would be almost impossible. And same goes for the uh, hand, which is now moving as well. Which again, you could get the get a hand much easier that way. But doing just look, jumping from here just really is really much quicker. All right, now just roll into the cage, which is just you just. Well, jump into the cage. <laughs> so, easy start that one. Pretty easy one. Nonetheless. Alright, cool. Now, down to show you fast clock. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, fast clock number nine. I think it's number nine, unless six is... Unless it's six, I don't know. It might be six. Oh, maybe it was six. Oh, no, 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 no. This is definitely fast clock. Oh, yeah, this is definitely faster. <laughs> So now everything's going twice the speed, uh, which I just showed you before. So getting up here is going to be fun. Oh boy, is it ever. Oh no. Oh no, don't kill me, please. Ah! <laughs> okay, cool. Those, those cubes are not easy to get up when you have um, double speed. And these are not going to be fun to run on either. Okay, good, let's get past that. Alright, so pendulum, so the pendulum star, you want to just come, just do a walk kick up here. And that will get you to where the star needs to be. Or well, is, not needs to be, just is. Oh yeah. Awesome! Alright, final star. Time to tell you what crazy clock looks like. And oh boy, you guys are in for it. You guys must love crazy clock. You're going to love this. Alright, oh, just go away for the six. Hang on a minute. Alright. Time jumps on moving bars. Let's -a go. Okay, crazy clock. So now you have the conveyor belts going backwards and forwards. You have the cubes go any time they wish to spin. This, this, this pendulum is just being whack. I mean, look, it's like stopping and going really fast and stopping and going. And then, oh my gosh, what's going on here? And, and look how out of sync these cubes are now. If you thought this was hard before to get up here when it was fast clock. Oh, this is, oh no! That is like impossible to get up there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because it's like there's no timing. It's all just luck. That. When you're doing Crazy Clock, it's just luck getting up there. It's literally luck. You're not going to be out of time the cubes at all. 
Oh my gosh, this can play about going back into forwards. Oh no! <laughs> it went immediately as I stood on it. It went immediately again as I stood on it. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, see, it just went immediately twice in a row. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I knew that was going to happen. Sheesh. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> See, now you understand why the music in the background is what it is, the crazy music, because this is just insane. <laughs> Alright. And I need to go pretty high up the clock to actually get to where I need to be, so yeah. Oh, come on, why don't you come down? Come on, come down. No, no, you don't want to come down. Oh, hang on. Up, up, up. No, up, no, you don't want to go up. Up, hey, no, yep, up, up, no, no, okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to have an easier time just doing what I did before to get up there. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Alright. Now, time jump on moving bars. Oh boy, this is not going to happen. Gosh. No, no, no! Ah! Oh, this is... No, oh, come on! Oh, this is torture. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, my goodness. Alright, 70! Yay! We did it! We got 70! Yay! Alright, there we go. Never again. I, I Crazy clock's just too crazy. <laughs> Alright, 70! You've got 70 power stars! The mystery of the endless stairs is solved, thanks to you. And his bouts are very upset. Now, on to the final bout! Yes, now I don't have to backwards long jump glitch up the stairs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I can actually walk up them normally! Yay! Look at that! Alright, and there's Bowser's ugly mug. <laughs> wow, it's salting, I know. Oh, her face only mother would love. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the final Bowser fight. And. Maybe something else. <laughs> Isn't...